Hello guys and gals of the internet. I'm Simic Gals of YouTube, Twitch TV and Mixer.com. And today's Simic Gals previews episode is the eve of my channel pretty much coming full circle in a lot of ways. As we are the episode for Sonic Mania released in just over a day's time with 15 minutes and 45 seconds overlapping to be exact Tuesday. Basically this coming Tuesday. And the reason why I think my channel was pretty much coming full circle is because when I opened this channel, well, I say opened, I actually opened it in 2007, but was browsing just videos for many years. But when I, I finally actually in 2012 officially started to make my channel kind of a, a Let's Play channel or gaming channel to be more precise, the first playthrough I actually did was a Sonic game. It was Sonic 06, believe it or not. Yes, that and that is still actually live as of right now. It's actually one of the more classic playthroughs I left after my channel reboot back in 2014. Um, and pretty much from the moment I kind of started, I said, right, the next time June comes around, I'm going to do it like a Sonic marathon with all the Sonic games I can possibly do. So in 2013, I did just that. Played through Sonic 1, 2, 3, CD, 4, Unleashed, Colors, and Generations, I believe. And then, actually, actually missing out a gap there, 2012 was actually, I did a playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2. That was on the Xbox 360 uh, version. And I think before then, actually, maybe a month before, I actually did a playthrough of the original Sonic Adventure. But uh, the Xbox slash PS3 slash PC port is pretty not that good to be honest it has it, it leaves it in its kind of normal tv ratio and a lot of negative space around it so it's like a really bad border and i really didn't think that'd give the game justice so in 2014 i actually did the dx uh version on the gamecube and then it came out much better uh and then actually later in 2014 i think about a month later i actually did a playthrough of Sonic Heroes for Sonic Marathon 1 because I was actually going to do that on the PC, uh, PS3 with the PS2 version but that's the worst port of the three that Sonic Heroes came out for which was the original Xbox and GameCube so Sonic Adventure 1 was redone on the GameCube and Sonic Heroes was done on the GameCube for that very reason. Now obviously all those playthroughs I just mentioned I've done but I did them on a digital camera, and as you know, I, re I rebooted the channel in 2014 when I finally converted to direct capture footage. So, that means, because I haven't got an actual playthrough of a Sonic game with direct capture yet, Sonic Mania is going to have that honor. It's going to be the honor of being my very first Sonic game direct capture playthrough. Now, that's on YouTube. Uh, if you guys have been on uh, with twi on Twitch with me over the last week, you'll know that I played through Sonic, both Sonic Adventures and Generations just recently for the Twitch channel for Sonic Marathon 2. But as far as YouTube is concerned, Sonic Mania will be the very first game I do with Grand Capture Sonic-wise. So from all I just told you, that's pretty much my Sonic history in a nutshell. He was my very first gaming character. He was probably my very first game was Sonic 2. I don't really need to go into a history lesson uh, with my Sonic stuff because you know. You know I've been there through it all with Sonic. Uh, the only game of the mainstream titles that I did not play was Sonic Boom. But of course the game was garbage. So you pretty much know from there why I didn't play it. It's a shame really because Sonic Boom actually did look really good from the trailers but the first, when it actually came out and I first started seeing gameplay I was like no, I don't want to play this. Sonic Boom was the first game I didn't want to play. The very first Sonic game I didn't want to play and hopefully it'll be the last. <laughs> um, with Sonic Forces to talk about for a little bit, I'll talk more about Sonic Forces when we get there but I'm not really at that stage with Sonic Forces thankfully. Um, you know it's got classic Sonic, modern Sonic. Uh, the only thing I'm not really sure about is this OC character and in Infinite, you know, Infinite's basically a shoehorn in for the OC character to be one part of the story, but like I said, I'm not really keen on that, I'm happy just playing with both Sonics, but like I said, we'll talk more about Sonic Forces uh, when I get there. So basically, yeah, I've played for almost every mainstream Sonic title, the only ones I haven't really covered are of course the handheld ones, I haven't had much experience with the handheld ones to be fair. Uh, the only one I've really played as much as any other Sonic game would be Sonic Generations 3DS, because that game is awesome. Um, but yeah, 
I've been through it all with Sonic. I don't really need to tell you the evidence is there on YouTube. <laughs> I don't really need to talk about it. So we can get straight into Sonic Mania. What is Sonic Mania? Well, Sonic Mania is, in my opinion, in my thought process, I think Sonic Mania is more of an anniversary title than anything else. It was announced last year for Sonic's 25th anniversary. Obviously, now we're in 2017, so we've gone past the 26th year mark for Sonic the Hedgehog. And um, yeah, it's, Mania is really built as an anniversary title. Uh, and you know that from all the classic uh, places we're bound to visit in the game, like Green Hill and Chemical Plant and all that kind of shebang. So, you know, from that, it's kind of an anniversary title, much like Generations was. Uh, Sonic Mania, in a nutshell, is a 2D Sonic game brought into the modern era, really. And I don't think there's anything more really to say than that. It's, it's a love letter to classic Sonic fans. So it's pretty much the Doom 2014 or the Sonic Generations of 2017 in terms of Sonic. And there's really nothing more, really more to say than that, really. Um, it's made by Christian Whitehead, who uh, obviously made, well, not made, but he kind of took Sonic CD and kind of remade it a little bit, um, kind of brought it back to modern standards, as it were. He kind of took Sonic CD and remade it a little bit. Uh, he kept the aesthetics of the game, he kept all the moves in the game, I think he just gave it a graphical polish or something like that. Uh, and he kind of worked on that. So now he's been actually given the green light to uh, make his own 2D Sonic game, and here we are with Sonic Mania in just over a day and nine hours time. Uh, I'm looking forward to this game. This game looks absolutely freaking great. Um, I actually think it's, like I said, it's going to be more, I think it's going to be a time travel game which in the Sonic universe hasn't really gone very well, but I guess it's 2D, so no one will really give a damn. I mean, I'm, I'm fully expecting the reviewers to pan Sonic Mania because IGN literally hates Sonic the Hedgehog at this point. They pan every game that comes out uh, that has his name on it. Um, and I'm expecting Sonic fanboys to find something wrong with the game because the Sonic community is one of the most toxic communities that, that, that there is, literally. You, you can't please any of them, quite frankly. Where I sit, I'm not in the community, I'm a hardcore fan of Sonic's games, and that's it. I don't involve him, myself in curating characters, or shippings, or any of that ridiculous nonsense. Okay, like I said in the Sonic Hero the Adventure 2 kind of thing, I, I did have a thing for Tails and Cosmo, but, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't ship characters to complete death. <laughs> you know, it's not like... It's not that life is strange and price field and all that stuff, it's, not, it's nothing like that. I'm none of that stuff. But uh, yeah, I tend to stay away from that because the Sonic community has progressively got worse <laughs> as time has gone on. So I'm like, no, nope, I'm just going to play the games and that's it. I'm here to enjoy the games. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to say about Sonic Mania, to be honest. Uh, I think we can already gather from it, from the trailers and the gameplay reveals that we've had. I think the one thing that does confuse me a little bit is the structure. And what I mean is... Most recently, they had this uh, little gameplay snippet of the bonus uh, or the special and bonus stages. Now, what confused me is not so much the special stages, because the special stages are the, the ones that you jump into the rings from Sonic 3. And apparently, you get put in this special stage that looks to me like a twist between Sonic CD and Sonic R. It's basically Sonic or Tails and Knuckles, because Tails and Knuckles do feature in this game as well. Like I said, it's more of a classic 2D Sonic game brought into 2017, so obviously I mean Tails and Knuckles are around. Um, you're one of those three characters, and you're running around this kind of space, and it kind of reminds you of Sonic CD, because we're jumping into shit. Um, but the difference is, there's these blue orb-looking things that that uh, kind of speed you up. It's, it's It says... Funny enough, it says Mach, so it's Mach speed section from Sonic 06, <laughs> or something like that. Um, and picking up blue orb things makes you go faster. Now, I don't really think there was much in that, so I didn't really get much experience with it. But then what came up was suddenly jumping into a checkpoint post. You know, you remember the checkpoint post in Sonic 3, or Sonic 2 even. And uh, you jump, there's this little spiral of stars that jumps up. Now in Sonic 2, if you jumped into that, you'd be in a special stage trying to get the Chaos Emerald at that specific special stage. Um, but in Sonic 3, 
they were bonus stages for you to get lives and, and rings and power-ups. In Sonic Mania, for some reason, they're the Blue Spear game. Now, I have a theory when it comes to this. From the special stages are going to be Time Stone related, possibly, and the bonus stages are going to be Chaos Emerald related. So basically, the, the bonus stages, like the bonus Blue Spear game, is going to be how you get the Chaos Emeralds a la Sonic 2, and the special stages are going to be how you get the Time Stones a la Sonic TD. Or the Super Emeralds. I don't really know. So, it's kind of a safe Sonic game that's actually going to completely rock because we haven't had a 2D Sonic game since Sonic 4, and Sonic 4 never even got finished, so that probably doesn't even count anymore. So, this is a complete 2D Sonic game in 2017 that's looking awesome, and that's pretty much it, really. Um, you know, it's no cohesive story like Sonic Forces. It's, it's a 2D Sonic game. It's a 2D Sonic game from the Genesis, bought to the PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One, and gaming PCs. And by the way, the gaming PC version is actually delayed. It's gonna be delayed till the 29th, so they're doing some polish with that. I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. And that's basically it, guys. It's nothing really much to talk about. You know, I've already mentioned my, my Sonic history is on my YouTube channel. Sonic Mania hasn't really got a lot to it in terms of what to talk about, aside from the levels and the special stages and how they all work. And that's it. Alright, so I'm out of here, I guess. So the playthrough will start on Tuesday. It will be released on Tuesday. I cannot freaking wait to play this game. Don't expect any high level gameplay from me here because Sonic Mania, unlike the other games, is obviously a new game, so I don't know what to expect. You know, with all the other Sonic games, I pretty much knew what I was getting into. With Sonic Mania, I kind of don't. Obviously, I'm going to know the classic levels like Green Hill and such, but apparently, every Act 2 in a classic level is completely different. So that's going to throw me off. That's going to be fun. It's probably a. Is it a sequel to Sonic Forces? Possibly. Is it a, no, not a sequel, a prequel to Sonic Forces, I mean, it could be, it could be, it could be classic Sonic's prequel to Sonic, Sonic Forces, could be, I mean, they are kind of linked, and they are coming out in the same year, so I'll see you all guys on Tuesday, peace out, Sonic Chaos signing off, until next time.